the live broadcast if you're watching on the web, uh, Periscope, Twitter. Hi, High Heeled CEO, welcome. Hi, Cheryl, welcome. How are you guys doing? So this is a photo. Thanks for sharing and inviting your followers. Hey, Susan, how are you doing? Thanks for sharing. Thanks for inviting. Welcome, Pious Lady. Welcome, Scar Survivor. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to turn the key. Hi, so I'm Janice Temple. Oh, we have bad sun, sorry. And um, I'm, hi, Cheryl, how are you doing? It's good to see everybody, good to see everybody. So I'm Janice Temple, and uh, we are doing Black History Month celebration. Hi, Danya, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you guys are participating and supporting um, our celebration on Periscope for Black History Month. Um, we invite you to join our Facebook group if you already have not. World Black History on Periscope. Hi, Miss Starlove. So today we are going to talk about George Washington. So George Washington definitely owned slaves. Um, the president, the first president of the United States. And the one slave in particular, Billy Lee. I'm going to turn the um, camera back around. His name is Billy Lee, and Billy Lee is, oh, thank you, Danya. So Billy Lee is um, right here, uh -oh. and he always had a turban on, so I have seen him like in photos by himself, and people said that he was a Moor. I don't know if he was a Moor or not, but I do know that he was George Washington's constant companion, his best friend. He fought in wars with George Washington. He's called a valet, a groomsman, but he was also a soldier who participated in strategy. And so that is Billy Lee right here. Hi, Patrice, welcome, welcome. So what I wanna share with you guys right here is a video um, about Billy Lee. It says, um, Billy Lee, hey Patrice, how are you doing? Thanks for sharing. Yes, join us on Facebook. Search World Black History on Periscope. Search groups. So Billy Lee perhaps knew George Washington as well as anyone could. Billy Lee was purchased in 1768. He became Washington's valet or manservant. He rode by Washington's side during all eight years of the American Revolution, where he helped Washington dress, serve meals, and deliver personal correspondence. Billy was also with Washington in Philadelphia during the Constitutional Convention. So you'll see him in some paintings that they have by John Trumbull. You'll see a black man in there. That is Billy Lee. An enslaved man who was with, yeah, with General when he was engaged in conversations that shaped a nation. Billy Lee was the only slave freed outright in George Washington's will. He was actually George Washington's best friend. He really was. So if you go back and, and read some of the things, so I'm going to play a video here. And uh, hopefully you guys can see it. Let's see. There we go. Standing out here by the river gives me much thought to the war. I remember when uh, General Washington, he got a letter from old Lund that the British had sailed right up the river here when we was going away. <laughs> Said Lund let them care off nearly everybody. But uh, thank goodness we got some good stories too. Like when we first go to Cambridge, they had they had made the general head of all the soldiers, all the army, you see. We ride into the yard at Cambridge, and lo and behold, there's all kinds of a scuffle. Some boys from the Virginia regiment was fighting with the boys from Massachusetts. Now, now you know Virginia ain't had much from Massachusetts, and Massachusetts ain't had much from Virginia either. But General, he ride his horse right in the middle of them boys fighting pulling that hair, gnashing their teeth, but he picks up the ringleader on one side and the ringleader on the other side and holds him up high like some kind of Greek god, you see? 
He says, ain't no fighting in this army. We's one army, Americans. You give this boy the lash, and you give this boy the lash. That was a general. He was all fair, I tell you. Yeah, when I think about the war, I think about how cannons sound like that lightning and thunder there. Boy, war ain't no pretty thing like when we was at Trenchtown, you see. Why, we struck a blow for liberty against those old Hessians. Just like you hear that thunder roll right there. The, the general, he had cannon put down King Street and some cannon put down Queen Street. And we had our muskets poised there. When he gave the command, fire, boom! Before you know it, we had ratted out them Hessians and struck a blow for liberty when folks thought the war was done. We went on there and had the battle at Prince Town. Mamas now, now that was a battle. It was so hot out there, I thought I was going to nearly expire from all the heat. But the general, he was right there, riding up at the front. Nearly had his coat shot through with holes. And I was right there with him. Sure was. I tell you, that mama sure made me think. General, he wasn't no kind of religious man if I'd say he went to church and such. But on that day for sure, well, I knew he must have had God watching over him. Horses shot out, bullet holes and all. But there he stood. Yeah, it's nothing like war to bring a man to an understanding of a different world. Oh. Camera back around. So hi, if you're just joining, my name is Janice Temple, and I just shared um, Billy Lee. He was George Washington's groomsman, um, valet, but he was more than that. He was his best friend. He was an enslaved person. But he was a soldier who fought in all uh, eight years of the Revolutionary War with uh, General George Washington. And he also, um, oh, you just followed Rena? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. <laughs> so join us on Facebook. And um, so I was sharing that... Um, uh, you you will see him in a lot of paintings because he accompanied George Washington um, in all of his battles. He was a mighty soldier, and he was a trusted friend. George Washington considered, okay, I will follow back. I will follow you now. So he considered George Washington to be um, his best friend. So I'm going to show you the painting, and this are um, by by Trumbull, by John Trumbull, and this was painted in 1780, 1780. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. So the next person up will be Susan. So Susan put up some emojis. So Susan is at a museum and she's going to show us some sculptures relating to the Constitution. So Billy Lee was at the signing of the Constitution. That's what I wanted to share with you. You will see him in some paintings by John Trumbull. Sometimes they paint him in and sometimes they paint him out. But he is in a very, he's a very, very important figure in um, African American history and American history. Hi, Kichi. Hi, Lisa. You're welcome, Abdullah. You're welcome. Hi, Susan. So you're up next. Put up some emojis. So we're going to follow Susan. Put up some emojis so everybody can follow Zu Santi. So, yeah, no, <laughs> that's Abdullah. Hi, Abdullah. So we're going to um, follow Susan next, and she's going to... Um, show us a museum in Philadelphia for 10 minutes. There you go. Susan T. Follow her. Follow her. Thanks for sharing, Kichi. And so, Susan, you go get set up. And, um, yes, following Afroscope founder. Absolutely. Yes. Kichi, throw some emojis. And everybody, you can follow Afroscope as well. Afroscope and Periscope. Hi, Star Jones. Welcome. Welcome. So if you're just joining, my name is Janice Temple, and I'm the founder of World Black History on Periscope. And we partner with 
honestly Kichi and Afroscope. So please follow us both. Absolutely. And what you're looking at, you're welcome. What you're looking at is a painting by John Trumbull, and he's a very famous artist that was commissioned to paint um, for the government. Oh, you're welcome. And this is George Washington with his in his valet groomsman as well as soldier. So Billy Lee was very instrumental in um, in all eight years of the Revolutionary War, and he was present for the signing of the Constitution. Billy Lee, he's a very, very important figure, so you will see him um, in paintings, but he, he was George Washington's best friend. So will somebody let me know when, um, when Susan is alive? Can somebody see? If Susan is alive yet oh Rena did do an awesome scope that was great Rena uh oh I'm losing my yes 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 she did do a great scope so is Susan live <laughs> yeah so John Trumbull's paintings or oh, you don't see her yet so John Trumbull's paintings are in the rotunda of uh, the Capitol building in Washington DC so um, I don't I think that there is one painting in the rotunda with an enslaved person in it but you will see there's two versions yes there are two versions there's one with Billy Lee and one without Billy Lee so he, he's a very, very important person in um, both of our histories. Oh, she's live. Okay, so everybody, let's go follow Susan. Thank you so much.